Hey there, Top Tip Tuesday time. I'm Bob from Insidium, hello. And in this week's video, we're gonna be looking at Terraform effects. Now, people often ask us, how do you get your terrains looking nice in the viewport, even in the basic viewport display mode? Well, I'll show you some of the tricks, including creating a custom daylight rig, which will really make your landscapes pop. So let's start that clock and we'll get started. Let's go to our Insidia menu then, and we'll go to the Terraform effects menu and bring in a TF terrain. That gives us our default terrain setup. We've got a noise and two erosion filters. We can just get rid of those erosion filters, actually. We don't need those. Let's get rid. And now we have this TF terrain with a noise. So let's, this obviously looks very bit milky, a bit washed out, and not much detail, and pretty unimpressive. So let's get this set up. First of all, we'll go uh, go to our terrain, and I like to start with not having any color gradients. Let's check that off in our object tab, and now we just have this grayscale. Now if we hit ND, we can see the lines, and if we go down in our object tab, you can see the default um, segments is set to 500 by 500. So if we increase that, we'll have more polygons, and so we'll have greater detail in the generation of our landscape. So let's hit NA to hide the lines. And now we've got more detail. So let's now adjust this noise. If we go to our TF noise, to the properties, the first place where we can add more detail is by using the octaves in our noise. If we put this down, you'll see that it goes a lot smoother. If we put this up to say 14, we're gonna have the same kind of bumps here and there, but loads more fine detail. So bumping up your octaves is a really good cheap way of getting more detail. Let's change this noise type to um, one that's a little bit more interesting. Let's go with a stuple. And we'll keep the scale as it is. And if we go to our operator tab, let's just add a bit more gain. We'll put this up to 90. So let's go to our TF terrain now, to the object tab, and we're gonna do one more adjustment, and we are going to, in the boundaries, we're gonna check even border, which gives us these flat even borders at sea level with a kind of a mound in the middle. All right, so let's start making this look a little less milky and a bit more interesting in our viewport. We'll do that first with a light rig. So we're gonna bring in a Cinema 4D light. Here it is, and we'll just move that up here. This light, so even just with one light, look how much better it looks. Let's go to our light, and we will make this kind of an orangey color to simulate kind of a golden hour. And we're gonna change the type from Omni to Infinite. And if we just come around, you'll see that this infinite light is pointing off in the plus Z. This is the direction of that infinite light. So let's hit R and just rotate that down slightly. So now it's kind of just like poking over the horizon, so uh, dawn or dusk. And then we wanna to go to our light and in the shadow, we'll enable soft shadows, which means we get this really nice shadow now, but it's a bit too dark, isn't it that? So if we go to the shadow tab, we can just reduce the density down to maybe 88%. Now we can see a bit of detail through it. And then finally, let's go to the general, we'll increase that intensity up to maybe 130. Right, so we're gonna add one more light. So let's click it in. This one's gonna be kind of like a dome light. So we're gonna make it blue, like the Earth's uh, atmosphere. And we're going to select here, look, ambient illumination. So let's check that. And it gives us this kind of hazy, milky look. Let's reduce the intensity. And it just adds that hazy look into the shadows, which gives it a kind of quite a nice sense of scale. And again, that, that kind of golden hour look. All right, so already that's looking way better just with that light. So let's just take this sunlight. I'm just gonna rotate it around a bit, something like that. So now we've got that sorted, we can go to the filter and switch off light just so we're not seeing those icons in the viewport. Excellent. So that's looking good. The next thing that we're able to do is add a little bit of color. So if we go back to our TF terrain and we enable this display, what it's doing is mapping this gradient here to the altitude values. So the lower parts of the terrain are blue, higher parts are, uh, are white. Let's change the preset from Alpine to, let's go with Atacama Desert. So now we've got this nice desert look. And finally, to add a bit more detail, now that we've got this look set up, and it looks pretty nice, but if we dolly in a bit, it starts to lose that detail. If we go to our TF terrain, 
and we go down. Let's add, we're only on a thousand segments here, so let's bump this up to say 3,000 segments, which is way more detailed. And now if we dolly in, we have got this really striking, realistic looking terrain, very nice detail, mostly done by the use of that light rig, which really makes that detail pop. Um, but then obviously we've increased the resolution and the noise octaves to give us more of this really impressive fine detail.